Yo. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, YouTube? Okay. Um, the title of this video is Black Women Are No Different from the White Girl or Non Black Girl um, when it comes to how they value black men. What do I mean? Understand this. So, when black women come on and say, oh, you know, the white girl or whoever only wants you for physical, you know, for physical, for the physical benefits, you know, uh, the majority of the time, I agree. I actually don't disagree with black women on this point, considering that I'm a black man, you know, and I've had it happen to me, where you get the comment, oh, you know, your skin or this or the way you dress, something trivial. And they expect black men to fall all over it. You know, certain, some do. Um, and, of course, you know, they get what they get. You know, to me, it's not a reward. But, you know, at the end of the day, they'll understand the flaw in their mistake when you buy into some lowball offer. Right? You know, so I've had it before. And it does happen. Okay? Um, you know, whether it's the skin color, the teeth, or the, you know, whatever it is. The physique or whatever trivial thing that they like about black men and black men fall all over it you know I'm not even talking about the dudes that have nothing going on for themselves it's the dudes who are actually doing somewhat well for themselves still falling for that bullshit right you know when I'm at the gym um you know I, there's there's a fair share of professional black men that go there and you know I see them talking to the white girl it's primarily white maybe some Asian and I'm like okay man this girl probably said, oh, you know, I love your body and I love your physique. And he's probably fell all over it like, oh, she wants me. Right? And I'm like, man, you just getting a low ball off and you accept it. Right? Um, and it happens all the time. You go to the gas station or whatever. And it's always some low ball offer. It's almost like, you know, I think you're cute. And, you know, black men, we jump all over it thinking that we're actually doing something when we're the ones who are getting undervalued. It happens. I'm not going to agree. You know, I mean, excuse me, I will agree with the women on that. But you would assume that black women would be getting upset because they themselves are doing something different. So whereas the non-black girl or the white girl is doing that, they're coming at black men on something different. But it's not. Think about it. If you really think about it, okay, all the things that black women say, white girls do, that, you know, we accept, don't they do it? Right? You know, just because it's in an R&B song or it's in a poem, isn't it the same thing? Right? Oh, the skin, the physique, um, you know, his build, it's always physical. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing that goes past it. <clears throat> or even if it, even if it is, you know, there's such, there's always this element of you know too much emphasis on it right you know so they say oh he's educated as well but uh, the majority of the the praise and the majority to why he's desirable goes to the physical like for instance look at like a Morris chestnut now you know it, it's not a shocker to hear um you know some white girl or non-black chick say oh you know we love his skin and we love the way his teeth contrast with his ivory or you know his um uh, smooth black skin or you know his build or you know whatever it is right it to me I'm like okay same old same old I don't even expect them to say anything more like what 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 do they really know right um but if you hear black women praise Morris Chestnut well first of all you know they weren't praising the brother you know the whole idea of you know Morris Chestnut being hot to me is relatively new right you know black women weren't talking about him till what you know late 90s up till now but the brother's been out for a while but anyways um you know if they'll praise him won't they say the same exact things oh his skin his build yet the brother's married has two kids um you know I, I, he didn't finish college but he went to college um <clears throat> you know comes from a two-parent home and you know i'm not familiar with all his works because i know he does a lot of smaller things that don't make it to the big screen but even then, you know, I've never really had a problem with his role. You know, he's played, a, you know, a doctor. You know, he's typically played <clears throat> roles that I'm okay with, especially with the movie he did uh, with uh, Taraji P. I forgot the name of it. Um, I think, actually, T.D. Jakes did this one. 
Um, it wasn't Tyler Perry, but I actually saw it. Um, and I, you know, I was okay with his role. You know, and it, he doesn't even pick these, you know, sort of coonish roles. You know, you, you've never really seen him get in trouble off camera. So there's so much to praise about him. You know, he actually does a lot. Like to me, you know, he is a relatively positive role model for maybe certain black men to follow, especially if they're younger. But you don't hear black women coming on and praising Morris Chestnut for that. It's just about, you know, his teeth and his build and his skin and his smooth bald head. But then they're going to come on and get mad at the white girl for doing the same exact thing they're doing. Okay, at the end of the day, to wrap this video up, the women who are winning or the women who want some sort of a productive relationship with black men, regardless of race, right? The women who are actually getting that are the women who understand that you have to value black men for more than that, okay? Um, unlike a lot of other groups in America, okay, they benefit from the status quo, right? The, the, the funny thing about the status quo is <clears throat> nobody wants it to change if it helps them or if it's neutral, right? A lot of groups may not completely benefit from the way the status quo is, but at the end of the day, they're not hurt by it. So... You know, an Asian man isn't as hurt by the status quo as a black man is, right? So people tend to deal with it. Hence the whole idea of other minorities kind of just leaving black people out to dry when, you know, they've had their own fair share of issues with white America. But for whatever reason, you know, the status quo has them winning or not necessarily losing as bad, so they kind of just don't care about it. But with black men, right, the status quo has you on the bottom. So you doing well, right? The simple act of you doing well is going against the grain. <clears throat> so, of course, as a black man, you want whoever you're going to decide to be with to value you. You want them to say, hey, I respect the way you handle yourself. I respect the way you go against the status quo. Right? You know, that's what we want to hear. And it's like I said before, it's the women who understand that and who truly do appreciate us for that in terms of what it can bring to the table. Those are the women who are winning pure and simple those are the women who are coming up on what they truly desire pure and simple any black woman in any sort of productive relationship with a black man will tell you why they value them and it will not even be about some physical bullshit right that would be like secondary any non-black chick who is actually in some sort of a decent relationship with a pretty upstanding dude will tell you about non-physical things yeah they may say it but like i said before just like the black woman it's going to be secondary it's not going to be something major it's more than that because no man wants to be lowballed no man wants you know the woman that he's going to be with to not truly appreciate what they can bring to the table and at the end of the day you know the women are black women are complaining that they're doing the same exact thing they blame white women or non-black women for doing and blame black men for accepting you think about it really think about it and think about all you know the the men the men that black women praise and they say you know this is what we want and ask them why why <clears throat> why is this man promoted um, versus why isn't this man promoted like why what about him do you like and then you clearly see that there isn't this big difference or this big disparity so anyways you tell me how you feel you guys take it easy. I was going to add a little bit more, but I don't want to go too far. Maybe I'll talk about the other stuff later. <clears throat> I don't know, but tell me how you feel. God bless.